My name is Chris Carrasco. Uh, this is going to be a video demonstrating placing a 20 gauge short IV catheter in a lateral saphenous vein. Um, so we're going to start with uh, shaving the limb. In long-haired dogs, I like to shave all the way around uh, just to make sure that the tape um, adheres to the skin better, um, doesn't get caught in anything. Make sure that the clip is nice and symmetrical. Make sure that we get all of, as much of the loose hair out of the way as we can. Um, and then I prep the site uh, with uh, Clorox um, scrub and alcohol. I usually do three times uh, in a target pattern, um, at least three times. Um, if it's a really dirty dog, um, then, you know, obviously as much clean as you can possibly get it. And then I like to wipe around, obviously not touching um, the site where I actually scrubbed at, but just around the periphery. Um, Any it uh, just helps to dry the skin a little bit, and again, just helps to um, help your tape stick a little bit better. Get as much of the hair away as we can. We're going to open up our catheter. pop the safety seal off so we can use that for a cap and then loosen the end of it. The restrainer is going to include the vessel. I like to kind of hold the skin a little bit taut. Um, it helps to prevent the vein from rolling around and poke. And feed the catheter in. The restrainer puts the thumb at the end of the catheter, careful not to touch uh, where the catheter is actually entering the skin and pop that cap on there. First piece of tape is going to be our uh, anchor piece, um, which is going to secure the catheter to the dog's limb.
I like to put a cotton ball um, right in that little indent right there on lateral saphenous catheters. Um, I feel like it helps uh, your taping a little bit and it helps to keep the catheter straighter uh, on the dog's limb so it's not moving around as much. Second piece of tape is going to slide right underneath the hub of the catheter and lock that in there. At this point, um, we're going to get our tea set uh, that's already been prepped with uh, heparin and I saline. Take the end of that off. And attach the tea set to the catheter. At this point, in long-term casters, I usually put cast padding and vet wrap um, to keep it straight on the limb as well. Um, I didn't do that with this one just because it's gonna be very short-term. And third piece of tape is gonna go right underneath the T-set. and wrap around there and secure that T-set on there. At this point, before I finish wrapping, I like to flush uh, just to ensure that we're still in the vessel. I always pull back a little bit and also flush um, just to make sure, um, make doubly sure that we're in. And then last piece of tape um, is just gonna hook around the T-set um, and attach that uh, T-set to the leg. and then just wrap a little bit of vet wrap around uh, the very top of it. Um, like I said, this was a very short-term catheter. Uh, it was just for a quick sedated CT, and then the patient just going home. Um, so it was mostly just to make sure that he didn't chew it out before his uh, scheduled CT time. And that's it. And I unfortunately uh, forgot to wear a scrub top today with my name tag on. Um, so I am uh, showing a ID card that has my name on it. And that's it.